Travis Kelsey was spotted drinking champagne and partying in a Las Vegas club while surrounded by scantily clad women after leaving girlfriend Taylor Swift behind in Australia. The NFL star arrived in Sydney on Thursday morning to meet up with his pop star girlfriend after his Super Bowl win and watch her perform one of her era's tour shows. However, the couple's reunion was short and sweet as Kelsey boarded a flight just days later to return to the US for more celebrations in Las Vegas. Kelsey landed in Sin City at 8.30 a.m. Saturday and wasted no time getting back on the dance floor with teammate and close friend Patrick Mahomes, who was in Vegas for a friend's bachelor party, video and photos obtained by Nat FL from inside the Lavo Club in Las Vegas show Kelsey with a giant glass of champagne in his hand. While standing on the packed dance floor, Kelsey could be seen drinking champagne as he celebrated with friends, wearing a bright Hawaiian-style shirt, Kelsey was also seen standing on the table as his group partied from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., they then departed from the Venice Hotel on a party bus to continue their wild night elsewhere on the city's iconic strip. Earlier on Saturday, it was reported that Swift banned Kelsey from strip clubs after he wore a t-shirt from an adult bar in Las Vegas earlier. This season, Kelsey's behavior has been in the spotlight in recent weeks after Swifties identified some red flags in their idol's boyfriend. He first shoved head coach Andy Reid and yelled at the 65-year-old in an explosive rage during the Super Bowl. Kelsey and several other Chiefs players were later criticized for holding a zoomed-out party on the same night as the deadly parade shooting in Kansas City. Kelsey was seen in a sports bar in Kansas City the same day of the shooting with several teammates and their WAGs, including Mahomes' wife Brittany. He is part of a small group that also includes head punter Tommy Townsend, center Creed Humphrey, Matt Bushman, and his wife Emily, sources told Nat FL that Mahomes booked the entire venue for select members of the team and their families, many in Andy Reid's group stayed away after the attack that left one person dead and dozens injured in Kansas City. Kelsey was criticized after taking a smiling selfie with a police officer following a deadly shooting. He also got drunk during the parade and could barely speak and stand up without the support of his teammates. This is also Kelsey's third trip to Vegas in two weeks. He also went there earlier this week to play golf and relax with friends before flying out to meet Swift in Australia. In a clip from Friday's Era's tour show, a grinning Kelsey can be seen exchanging friendship bracelets with Swifties. In another video, he waved to screaming fans as he passed by, Swift decided to give two nods to her audience through the lyrics in the show. During the second verse of her song Long Live, off her album Speak Now, Swift sang the line, We are the kings and the queens slash you traded your baseball cap for a crown slash when they gave us our trophies slash and we held them up for our town. At the mention of trophies, Swift held her guitar up and seemed to point out in the direction of Kelsey in the audience that drew cheers from the packed audience at the Accor Stadium in the Olympic Park suburbs of Sydney. Later in the show, Swift had an encore of her altered Karma lyric, where she once again sang out, Karma is the guy on the Chiefs instead of guy on the screen. After her stint in Sydney, Swift had six shows in Singapore before she had two months off. It's currently unclear if Kelsey will be making another trip to join her in Singapore. Taylor Swift just recreated a viral moment between her Travis Kelsey from the first year's tour concert he attended as her boyfriend. After wrapping up her show in Sydney, Australia on Friday, the international pop star ran to her NFL bow and planted a kiss on him, in a clip circulating online. The Super Bowl champ can be seen waiting patiently for Swift as she rushed into his arms and passionately kissed him before they headed backstage together, Kelsey had arrived at the Accor Stadium earlier. That night to support Swift's first year as tour show in Sydney, he received a warm welcome by Swifties as he walked through the crowd, comprising 81,000 fans, and towards his VIP tent, other clips from the night show Kelsey dancing and singing to Swift's song throughout the night, their post-concert kiss was the second time they put on such a display. The first time was back in November when the Chiefs tight end attended an era's tour show in Argentina. Despite just winning the Super Bowl, Travis Kelsey seems unlikely to put his feet up with a jam-packed offseason on the horizon. After wrapping up his Super Bowl celebrations, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end kicked off his offseason by jetting to reunite with girlfriend Taylor Swift in Sydney, where the couple enjoyed a sweet date at the zoo.
After her stint in Sydney, Swift has six shows in Singapore before she has two months off. It's currently unclear if Kelsey will be continuing on to Singapore with her or beginning to explore other ventures. The tight end could look to further investigate his potential routes to Hollywood, take his New Heights podcast across the Atlantic, or spend it loved up with Swift in Kansas City until hitting the road with her. Kelsey's fame has hit new heights since his romance with Swift took the world by storm but he and his agents have long been plotting a Hollywood career, his agents, Andre and Aaron Eanes, revealed to the New York Times in January that they have their sights set on making their client as successful as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. They already secured him a hosting gig on Saturday Night Live last year, which he was told in a pre-Super Bowl press conference he received rave reviews for. And according to The Wrap, he has already put the wheels in motion to begin breaking into Hollywood, Kelsey and his team are already said to be considering movie roles and developing unscripted shows for him. While even exploring potential comedy opportunities and product endorsements, the Chief's tight end is also understood to have met with a host of top filmmakers, including White Lotus producer David Bernat, to discuss a potential reality show he hopes to both produce and appear in, Bernat, an Emmy Award and Golden Globe winning producer, and other Hollywood bigwigs reportedly flew over to Kansas City to speak with Kelsey in person about his ideas for the show. He's also said to already have his hand in a project with Variety reporting that he is an executive producer on an indie film called My Dead Friend Zoe. The movie is described as a dark comedy starring Natalie Morales, Ed Harris and Morgan Freeman and Sinequa Martin-Green. It is the first time that Kelsey will work on a film, while he mulls over future endeavors on the silver screen, Kelsey could use the off-season to further develop one of his existing media projects. Kelsey and his Philadelphia Eagles star brother Jason launched their New Heights podcast in September 2022 and they could look to take it global for the first time this summer. Recently, Travis suggested that they do live shows in Britain after learning they both have the top-selling NFL jerseys there. We gotta get over there dude, the Chiefs tight end said. I feel like if this is what's going on in the UK, we gotta get a live show over there dude, Jason replied, you ain't gotta talk me into that, I'd be very down for that, Kelsey's New Heights London edition could coincide with the European leg of his girlfriend's Iris tour, the tight end has reportedly already made romantic plans for a European trip with Swift while she performs throughout the continent. The pop superstar kickstarts the Euro stint of her sold-out show in Paris on May 9 and will perform through until a final show at Wembley Arena in London on August 20. According to the US Sun, the chief star has booked hotels in Paris and Milan costing in excess of $6.000 a night, the publication quoted a source close to Kelsey as saying, he booked some very nice hotel suits and tables at great restaurants to take her on days off. He wants to take her on romantic getaways to have her relax and go discover those nice cities and European romantic places together. He also booked tables and quick day trips to some food and wine tours, as he wants to take her to Italy's rural side, and spend time with her in the most gorgeous vineyards and beautiful countryside spots, Swift will be in Europe for four months and Kelsey could visit a number of iconic sporting venues as part of her tour, depending on how long he travels with her. NFL teams typically return to practice in early August with the season beginning in September, in England, she plays at Premier League soccer team Liverpool's Anfield Stadium in June, as well as the San Siro in Milan and Real Madrid's Bernabeu in Spain, Kelsey's off-season trainer Andrew Spruill, who lives down in Florida, revealed in December that he expects the tight end to be back training with him this off-season. Spruill has been training Kelsey since the 2013 NFL Combine and the two-time Super Bowl winner has spent seven of 11 off-seasons down in Boca Raton to work out with the trainer for two months, and Spruill expects him to balance the off-season between sending time with Swift and the gym ahead of returning for another season, according to him, he's coming back, Spruill said. I went up for two games to go see him. I trust he'll be back, especially if he wants to keep playing at the age he is. He needs to get in the gym and make sure he's ready.